airclips.com. Welcome to airclips.com. Welcome to the third edition of US Jumbo Pilots, our series about National Airlines 747 freighter operations. Right here you're in the empty cargo hold of our Boeing 747-400 BCF freighter at the apron at Seoul Incheon Airport, Korea. Our airplane has just arrived from Tokyo Narita Airport, piloted by Captain TJ. Right now, the aircraft is being loaded with some additional freight to be carried home to Munich Airport in Germany, where the entire mission started originally. In this film here you will see two beautiful flights. First of all, first of all, Sapol will bring you to Karaganda, Kazakhstan for a fuel stop. And on the second flight, Captain TJ will fly you from Karaganda back home to Munich. Now enjoy and have fun with Captain TJ, first of Paul and their crew. So, full takeoff. Full takeoff, Raj. Yeah, and uh, temperature of 52? 52, so that should give me an EPRA of 1.38. Checks. Okay. Flaps 20. 20. Okay, and now 26.6, you said? 26.6. Roger, that should give me a trim 5.1. Checks. Roger. And speeds are 150. 150. 162. 162. 170. 170. Delivery good day, National Chicago 891. National Chicago 891, delivery go ahead. Sir, so National Chicago 891, stand 634. We have information, Juliet. Requesting IFR clearance to uniform kilo uh, alpha alpha. Uniform alpha kilo kilo, sorry. National Chicago 891, delivery clear to destination, runway 3 to the left, no peak 1 Lima departure, Yankee 6907, damage 5. Maintain file level 240, clock 7131. Okay, ATC clears uh, National Cargo 891 to destination via 33 left. No pick 1 Lima departure, Yankee 697. Climb to maintain flight level 240, squawk 7131 for National Cargo 891. National Cargo 891, request Craig. If tax tax via cargo transition, 3 to the left, contact apron 12165. 12165, National Cargo 891. Good night, sir. Okay. Ready to brief it up when you are. No pick one Lima is in the box. Pick one Lima. Okay. No, none of them still affect us. Uh, we're pretty much uh, emergencies as we brave standard out of here. It's uh, left turn heading 240. 240, okay. The uh, taxi is from here, as he says, Delta 1 or Delta 2 to Delta, then Gulf to the holding point, I assume, or as is directed by ATC. Okay. The departure. I had in here and it disappeared because it's screwing up. No pick one Lima 20 3 Echo 23 of February 18. And just to check in the box here, uh, Sierra 1707. Uh, then a left turn to Sierra 1713 at 5000 or ab uh, above. Then to Sonja at 10,000 or above. Then to Nopik at flight level 160 or above. Okay. Then says filed. Um, we checked the box, distance checks, uh, accuracy checks. I put uh, 1500, 2000, 1, 1500 for the thrust reduction. Yeah. Uh, speeds, we were. Is that uh, for that? This that didn't be right. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Got it. Uh, speeds we were uh, 250 below 10. We didn't have an. I didn't see any speed limit for this side, so we're good there. Um, taxi we spoke about. Terrain. I'll be on 
weather you can be on terrain okay looks like we're okay out of here um as i said for everybody anything you see call me give it a shout everybody's here for that reason uh any questions comments no questions okay ground that. cockpit Go ahead. are we clear to pressurize hydraulics no, i'm sorry uh i can't hear you say again yes can. oh that's much better okay we're clear to pressurize hydraulics thank you let's do a before start and you get a chance before start checklist what electronic devices off off electronic flight bags pre flight it secured Flight and secure. Departure briefing. Complete. Uh, oxygen. Our, uh, it's checked. 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 And uh, checked. Flight <laughs> instruments. Check the set for departure. Checked. Uh, altimeters. Our uh, 1008 has skills and zero feet. Three, three, three. 1008 showing uh, 10 feet. And MCP. I got a V2170, a heading of 333, and an altitude of 240. V2170, heading 333, uh, altitude 240. Takeoff speeds. Got a V1150, a VR162, and a V2 of 170. Okay, and fuel quantity. I got 86 plant, 868 checked. And fuel control switches. Cut off. Uh, park and brake. Set. Auto brakes. RTO. Passenger signs. On. Emergency upper deck emergency doors. I think I heard arm. Arm. Doors. arm and force takeoff checklist complete. Thank you. Before start checklist complete. Okay. Come Let's call it. for a push and start, please. I just did a uh, a TJ. I said for takeoff checklist complete. <laughs> 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 it's it's spreading. <laughs> See, so you finally and learned something. It was the wrong thing, Nash but you learned. Ramp in Chicago, <laughs> 891 stand 634, requesting uh. pushback and start. Push and start approved, Nash Chicago, 891. <laughs> okay. Before pushback, <laughs> Kevin. Ready. Doors. Closed. Demand pumps. Four ox auto. Beacon. Is both. Recall. Check. Trim. Is uh, 5.1 units, zero, zero. And transponder. Uh, we got uh, transponder and TCAS off. Okay, before pushback checklist is complete. Roger. You put this in, right? Yeah, that's that's what you wrote down, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure. Yeah. I, uh, I ground, uh, we're already pushing start, standing by on brakes. Uh, break, parking brakes release, release, please. Park and brake release, clear to push and start. Yeah, we are beginning pushback. Okay, and advise when we're clear to start engines. Yeah, I will tell you when you can start engines. Kong Samida. Samida! That's interesting. I put this in thing in airplane mode. It's not going in airplane mode. But it's keeping the Wi-Fi on. Interesting. Any other phone, you put it in uh, airplane mode and the Wi-Fi drops off. No, no, no. The Wi-Fi is... You got it... On my phone, if I put it in airplane mode, the Wi-Fi drops off. Your phone is old. That's right. Uh, yes, it is. My phone does it. Just like me. <laughs> no, after the 8, I think it... It doesn't, doesn't. Oh, really? Turn, yeah, you oh. want to turn off uh, Wi Fi if you want to. Oh. It keeps the Bluetooth on and the Wi Fi. Great. Now there's something else I got to remember. Perfect. No, no, but it, it doesn't do anything if it's not connected. In other words, it, it, it'll doesn't just. Doesn't it keep looking for a Wi Fi? Uh, not, it goes into standby after a while. Okay. It, oh, it goes into so standby it, after yes, a while? Yes, but it doesn't affect anything okay. plane wise. Airplane mode it just cuts up. Uh, copy ground. Go ahead, ground. Uh, Park brake set, please. Park and brake set. And you can start engine. Thank you. We'll start four, three, then two, and then one. As a four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Start four, please.
Let's start three, please. All right, start two for me, please. Cancel the message. Start one, please. Ah, you stay with it. Okay, we're done. Let's do the after start, please. Four good starts, crew disconnect. See you on the right side. I'm just saying. Please watch your right side for signal. Your safe flight. Call in Samida. Samida. Whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, Paul. Okay, after start, APU is uh, off. That's LNTI is off. Half cargo heat on, recall. Check. Pitch, uh, CDUs are uh, checked. Checked, ground equipment. Clear left. And they're waving off on the right. Okay. Clear on the right, after start, checklist is complete. All right, let's go to flaps 20, please. Control checks. So oh, good. shoot. Turkish is getting ready to go, too. And we're blocking him. Damn it. Three up, three down. Neutral. Three up, three down. Neutral. Come the rotors. Target A, National Cargo 891, approaching Delta on Delta 2. National Cargo 891, Incheon Tower, Taxi Via, Cargo Transition, 33 left, follow green. Follow the green. Follow the green, 33 left, uh, National Cargo 891. National Cargo 891, continue, follow green, cross, 20, 33 right, via Juliet. Okay. 
Taylor followed the green, skirt across 3-3 three three right via Juliet, National Cargo 891. Oh, good. He turned the red stop bar lights off before I had to ask him. Okay, here we go. Straight out here and clear yep. across. He turned the red stop lights yep. off for us. Clear on the right. If you could light us up, light them up. Okay, left side's clear. Right is clear. All right, it's clear. We got the stop lines in front of us. Let's go ahead and do the before takeoff. Who's to the line? Yes, sir. No changes to the brief. Roger. Yes, we are. Before takeoff to the line. Flaps. Okay. Continue follow the greens. Okay. Continue follow the greens, Chicago 891. 20 plan, 20 check. 20 plan, 20 check. Okay. Flight controls. Check. Checked. Takeoff departure review is complete. And we're down to the line. Okay. Chicago 891. Wind 33 degrees 7 knots. Run 833 left. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. 33 left. Chicago 891. Roger. Clear for takeoff. Okay. Just a little bit down on your mic, a little bit. Well, I, ca I can't find a okay. spot. I've been moving <laughs> it around. I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to listen to me thunder. <laughs> 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 yeah, I kept moving it down to see if it'll help, but it's not. Uh, all right. Clear for takeoff. Lights are on. We're ready to go. I'm assuming these are out. You ready, Paul? Yes, sir. It's your airplane, your thrust. Okay. Ready to take off. Thrust row. Knots thrust set. Check. Cargo 891 900 climbing to 240. Cargo 891 Charlie Potter radar contact climbing to Florida 240. Cargo 890. That's a pretty good hand flying for an Airbus guy. <laughs> <laughs>
Laps one. Laps one. Flaps up. Flaps up. National Cargo 891, uh, we'll need to, uh, 270 knots in the climb if that's all right. National Cargo 891, approved. Something's up. Yeah, I was sitting here thinking, I told you to ask for that, Paul, then I realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm the work in the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, I have to take off check. All right, here we go, I have to take off checklist. Landing gear is up and off, laps are up, I have to take off checks complete. Like we're good on train. I'm going to join you on weather. I'm going to dump the fix. Yep. So okay. Out, so. Check, and you can give me autopilot. You know how to do it this way? No. How do you do that? Okay. Bring up Jeps. No, no. Bring okay. Up Jep well. first. Uh -huh. Jeps. Yeah. Okay. And then pull up from here. Take this. Oh, oh look at that. Over there. And wow. then do that. And then you can bring up this as cool. much as you want. Th these Airbus guys know how to do it, These huh? guys, they know. <laughs> now, the odds of me remembering this are, are minuscule, but I like it. I <laughs> hope I can remember it. Just type it in Google. Uh, to, to, um, oh, that's to nice, man. Yeah, normally, you know, your, your kids are supposed to teach you this high-tech stuff. But mine's out playing with her friends all the time because she's got a car. So <laughs> she's, she's not doing her instructional periods. <laughs> you guys have this problem. My pictures tend to fade in time. I don't know why that is. Your pictures what? I got a clear picture in my iPad, and then as time goes on, it, it starts to, f like, almost fade. It's like it... Are you like sure that's not the glasses? Like my meters... Uh, no, no, my, my meter altitude it was a good sharp picture, and now, you know, six months later, it's fading, hard to read. And I'm saying, are you sure that's not the glasses? <laughs> and that's that's another reason why we should have that chart in the airplane handy. I'm not sure if it can do that. It, it doesn't fade over time. It's the same picture. So it's a, it's a I, it happens. And I, I mean, even my I, uh, my iPhone. And maybe it's a, not the battery either because I've got a good charge on the battery. When you say fade, the, the, the lightness, I mean, the brightness? No, no. Do you see how it's not sharp and clear when you look at those numbers? <laughs> Trust me. They they look fine to me, no, but from here. These, are, so, these yeah. are sharp and clear. These aren't. I mean, they're side by side, for God's okay. sake. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That one, I don't. I can't answer you. That's maybe maybe it's me fading in time. Huh? Is that uh, it? That's what I'm trying saying. To say? I'm uh -huh. wondering if it's the glasses or what. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Or glasses. the eyes. Or <laughs> I got your glasses right here. <laughs> so, on once we're on flight level, you get a well deserved rest? Yes. The heat from all these lights are just fading my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Speed it out. Check. How long is the uh, the flight time of this flight anyway? Uh, I six now. something. Six I don't know. Uh, ask him. He's got the flight plan. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Six hours. Okay. Thank you. Did you know that today's my wife's birthday? Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Do you know that you're in trouble? 
Huh? Do you know you're in trouble? No, no. I already, I already made sure I, I didn't screw that up. I. So you're not there. So, so well, I know, but, but I did my best. And that's, that's his chance now to hold this little precious blinking present into the camera that you're going that's to carry right. home now. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> 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 See, all is well. <laughs> Usually in order to, you know, have a relaxed start of the filming and so on, I have a little... Uh, I have a little extra, but you guys, you already came in so relaxed that I totally forgot that. <laughs> but that's the uh, world famous Airclips Hollywood Pills. What is it? Airclips Hollywood Pills. That's, you cool. know, it's your way to uh, eternal Hollywood fame. For each oh, before each filming session. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So after you had your rest and you want to get back into the swag, then uh, <laughs> it's, it's Skittles, by the way. <laughs> I was going to give it to my wife when she gets all worked up because I didn't get the project finished. I'll be like, here, dear, <laughs> try some of these. Patrick says they'll make Patrick you happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make you happy. Sugar makes you happy. <laughs> That's good, a little placebo to get everybody calmed down. Yeah, huh? exactly. <laughs> Because I was going to have one with my martini later. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for you. Sorry? Do I feel bad for you. Doha to, um, Doha to Kuwait is 15 minutes. Uh, I know. You've been doing that six times a day. <laughs> By the time you get up, you bring back down. That's, that's like Chicago to Rockford. I mean, in a way, it's, it's actually fun, you know, because you get right with the program, you yeah. know, just like fun. But um, could you um, get uh, the other captain for me? Because I've had enough of this. I want to take a break. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. We are taking a break now, oh. I guess. Yes. We'll see you all later. <laughs> good, good night. See you before, <laughs> you before approach into Karaganda. Um, crew has a well-deserved break. Frankly, since I, I'm on my, what is it now, Th third fourth fourth filming flight uh, in sequence I need a rest too I'm up for I don't know 36 hours right now I think <laughs> so it's time for a break enjoy the flight it's a night flight only so for you it's going to be quite short one see you in a moment for land <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay there were no Nordum stuff factors for right here the uh Arrival, uh, we're cleared direct Litno at this time. Kay. And we're crossing Litno at 4000. It's in the box. And the arrival, ILS DME 05, uh, 20th November 2020, 11-1, effective 3rd of December. Let me see over the cargo on the VOR. I'll just put here uh, KRG, 4100 RMSA. Your point elevation is 1767 feet. Uh, localizer frequency is in the box 1099. Final approach code 050. We uh, probably not going via Rivet because we're going to Litno. We take a turn and um, final approach fix is not in a Maltese cross here. Yeah, it's right here with the uh, F-105. F okay, so that's what they're using, F-105? Yeah. So F-105, 6.7, I guess we cross at 4,000. Down to an MDA of uh, 1967, 1970 set. Uh, remember, I don't have... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have the... Uh, Uh, the uh, missed approach procedure is uh, climb to zero, climb on zero five zero heading at twenty five hundred feet. Uh, turn right to two three zero degrees, climb into four thousand feet, and then as directed by ATC. We're expecting vectors here uh, in the box. If we have to hold, we can put it in the hole, but it's uh, expecting uh, directed by ATC. Uh, transition level uh, one two zero ten thousand sorry ten about ten thousand 
It says reset MCP. I'll clear that. Call for descent when you're ready. Yeah. And uh, once we exit there, if I remember, okay. That's cargo 89 or 1, request descent. Okay, I heard uh, the altitude of 120 and say again the frequency, please. Okay, descend to 12000 and uh, 124 frequency 124.1, one. One, National Cargo 891. Okay, so you're cleared to descend. I'm going yeah. over to the freak. National Cargo 891, uh, we're leaving uh, 340 for 120. National Cargo 891, foot on control, good day, ready contact, descent flight level 120, direct point lead, not for runway 05. Okay, we're descending to 120 and we're going direct to Litno, confirm. National Cargo 891, FM direct Litno for runway 05. Okay, direct to Litno for 05, National Cargo 891. Kind yes, of, so kind of hard to get that accent. All right, yeah. so we almost so we done. To the, yeah, we go to the end of the runway. Okay. Uh, make a 180, come Rouch. back, exit at, uh, I guess, number two or number one, depending on what they say, um, for now, to the cargo area. Okay. As we said, uh, flap 30, uh, we, don't, we have the speed set in there. Um, auto brakes, too. And what else? We're good with that. Well, the que any questions? Nope. Okay, we'll do the uh, descent checklist. All right, here we go. Descent approach check. Recalls checked. Auto brakes two. Landing data is flaps 3151, men set of 1970. Both sides. We got the altimeters preset 1025. And uh, you want me to go into terrain? Because it is it's yeah. high terrain yeah. around here. All right, I got train. You got weather selected. Approach briefing is completed. Descent approach checks complete. Shit. Paul, I found that on the floor behind you. I'm not sure if that's of any relevance. Well, that's the how to land instructions. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty short. How to land a 747. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just about um, TJ's bad landing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so many Gs. Yeah, well, I'm used to those. 1.15 G. <laughs> National cargo 891, uh, continue descent to altitude of 7,000 feet, finish 1018 mm bars, and turn left heading 270 for the separation. Okay, descend to 7,000, turn left heading 270, and uh, say again the, uh, the hex hectopascals on the altimeter. What is it? National cargo 891, QNH 1018 hectopascals. I come up with that one. Okay, 1018. Thank you. National cargo 891, maintain 4,000 feet, turn right heading 290. Right, 290, National cargo 891. 290. Of course I'm going to maintain 4,000. I'm just going <laughs> to arbitrarily descend. And, uh, give me flaps 10. Okay. Speed check flaps 10. Try to build flight time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get to a 180, not, you know, even figures. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know if he'll give me uh, one of those turns and I'm shoot overshoot. Well, even if he does, I think we're in good shape now. At now, yeah. <laughs> not at uh, 200. National Cargo 8901, turn right heading 020, clear to LSDME approach runway 05, report established on the localizer. Right 020, we'll call you established on localizer, National Cargo 8901. Okay, correct senses. Look is armed. Ratch. Localizer is alive. Check. Capture. National Cargo 8901 established. National Cargo 891, one, two miles from touchdown, continue approach. Continue approach, National Cargo 891. Now, as long as that bright light is not somebody back taxiing towards us, we're in good shape. Yeah, I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> of course, maybe that's why we don't have a landing clearance yet. Those we'll puppies see. are on the left. And Glide slopes alive. Check. He's turning off now? or yeah. Oh, he might be no, he's, he's over turning around to take off, maybe. No, no, he's over on the ramp. Okay. Okay, 
Clyde Slopes alive. Okay, gear down, flaps 20. Roger. Gear down, flaps 20. That looks like we got somebody else on the runway with just a strobe, eh? There's your glide slopes captured, no land three, three don't worry shift. about that. Missed approach 4000 is set. I'll get rid of that message for sorry. you, sorry. Yeah, yeah he's taking off, he's, he's about midfield. <laughs> Speed checks, flaps 30. Comes your landing checklist. Landing checklist. Landing checklist has uh, cabins notified, speed brakes. Speed brake is armed, uh, landing gear down, flaps 30, landing check completed. Still waiting for the clearance. Check. There he's about. There we go. National cargo 8901, wind 120 degrees, 2 meters per second, clear to land. Clear to land, National cargo 8901. Check. Two. Okay. Go in manual. One thousand stable. Check. Mr. Approach altitude four thousand six. Inside. Right side. Okay. One hundred. Check. Correcting on the speed. Minimum. Going high. Gotcha. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Careful, I got an anti-skid message. There's 80 knots. Okay. Okay, I have control. You have controls? You have controls. Got manual braking. National cargo 8901, back track runway 05, locate to the right via taxi 01. Roger. Back track 05, locate via taxi 01, national cargo uh, 8901. Number 1. APU anytime, please. Yeah. See, that's where I'm used to parking, right where he's sitting. So we'll see where we're going. Uh, now. We park uh, uh, this over here where those guys are straight up. All right. Okay. Oh, that means a 180? <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. Now. You 
want to cut all my lights for me, please? Me up, please. Okay, fellas, the lights are coming on bright. Get some lumens for Patrick. <laughs> 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 Woo! Thank you. Yeah, some lumens, all right. Nicely done, Paul. Any time on the checkmate. Okay, shut down. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Fuel pumps. Off. Miscellaneous. Off. Beacon. Off. Off cargo heat. Off. Transponder. Standby. Uh, parking brake. Still set. We can hold it right there. Okay, guys. Now we're here in Karaganda, Kazakhstan, on our way to um, Munich. And actually, in Munich, we still have a night curfew. So. Um, this stop here serves two purposes. First of all, um, uplifting fuel, and um, secondly, um, waiting um, and just you know burning some time until we can land in Munich after the night curfew has finished over there. See you again for takeoff. Then TJ is going to take us home to Munich. <laughs> Right here in Karaganda, Kazakhstan, it's in the middle of the night and actually our stay is uh, quite a bit longer than originally anticipated because we arrived pretty pretty early, quite a bit ahead of schedule. We now have to wait uh, really for the earliest possible departure in order not to get into trouble in Munich with the uh, night curfew. So um, it's calm, the aircraft is already, you know, filled with gas and uh, even much more important, of course, all the uh, cameras are recharged, cleaned and cuddled for the last leg here from Karaganda, Kazakhstan to uh, Munich airport. Uh, the leg is expected to be uh, roughly seven hours flight time, almost eight hours block time and uh, well it's a, a nice conclusion of uh, for you three beautiful flights with captain tj paul and their fellow crew colleagues for me actually it is the conclusion of five consecutive flights on this aircraft uh, i'm basically up on my legs for uh, more than 40 hours right now only with a short nap in between on the chair here um, so um I'm pretty pretty done uh, I'm just glad we didn't you know lose any cameras or footage because of uh, fatigue of the camera guy Patrick here so far it went well the last leg is coming Captain TJ is gonna have controls uh, back again for the last stretch I'm looking forward to that a bit more waiting and camera cuddling before we are on our way for you it's time to start right now so here we go Are you done yet? 
I'm just trying to figure out what she's saying. Just shut it off, man. I can't listen to that anymore. That's thunderstorm for south. For God's sakes. Thunderstorm south, okay? Yeah. Thunder south, okay. Yeah. Thunderstorm cells. Okay. What runway are we using? <laughs> Zero five. That's all I really cared about. All right, I got the weights, and there's your TLR. We're ready to go. Let's do them performance information. Okay, zero fuel weight of 2604.5. Uh, okay, I heard 260.5. Yeah. 260.5, 855, 345.0 on the ramp, 345.5 maybe for takeoff. Check. Okay. And uh, what's the cruise altitude on that flight plan, you know? Please. 320. 320, okay. All right, so what do we got for thrust setting? Okay, so zero five three forty five seven. We're looking at uh, full thrust. Okay. And uh, temperature forty four. Forty four assumed. Okay. That should be one four four. One four three. Okay. Okay. Flaps twenty. Twenty. CG is twenty six decimal seven. 26.7 trim of 5.1. 5.0. Okay, good. Speeds? Speeds, uh, V1 135. 135, that's considerably lower, okay. 161. 161. 170. 170. Good night. Bravo, Lima. Good night, sir. Uh, we'll be ready in a bit. We'll give you a call back. You can push it off hydraulic. Okay, clear the pressure. Uh, we'll call you back. Uh, chucks are removed, sir. <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me. <laughs> okay. All right, ready, Paul? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we go off the Dozen 1 Echo. And it's uh, climbed straight ahead uh, 2,900 or above. Then it goes over to zero 050, zero, turn left, 196 track, intercept 236 to doze, and it's all good. I'm going to use LNAV, VNAV. Altitude's going straight to 210, no special notes. Everything's just like it was before, so the briefing's complete. Let's go ahead and do a uh, before start checklist, please. Okay, before start checklist. Board electronic devices? Off. Off. Electronic flight bags. Free flight secured. Free flight secure. Departure. Briefing. Complete. Oxygen. Check. Checked. Check. Flight instruments. They're uh, set check for departure. Check. Uh, altimeters. Uh, the altimeters are uh, 1017 1017-1770. Check. And uh, MCP. MCP, I got a, a V2 of 170, heading initially of 050210 on the altitude. Oh, that shit. Uh, V, sorry, um, 170 heading 050210 on the altitude. And takeoff speeds? I got a V1 of 140, VR of 161, and a V2 of 170. And fuel quantity. I had 86 plant, 85, 5 checked. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Parking brake. Set. Auto brakes. RTO. Passenger sides. Are on. Upper deck emergency doors. Doors. Thank you. Doors are on. And before start checklist is complete. All right, we cleared the pressurized. We already yeah, pressurized. Already pressurized. Good. Let me get that trim set. And let's go ahead before the. For pushback, please. For pushback checklist. Kevin. Ready. Doors. Closed. Demand pumps. Four ox auto. And beacon. Both. Recall. Check. Trim. Is uh, 5.1 units, zero, zero. And transponder. We got uh, transponder TKS off. And for pushback checklist is okay. complete. And uh, ground, where to start all engines? I'm ready. If you're ready, clear stop engines. It's possible. Can you just make sure? 
Just call them, make sure we got And uh, Tower in our Chicago 891 uh, is ready for starting engines. National Cargo 891, heavy, confirm information, Charlie on board. Uh, yeah, we got Charlie. Yeah, we got Charlie in Chicago 891. National Cargo 891, start approved. Start approved on Chicago 891. Alright. What we had was something else before, but anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and start engine 4, please. We have this engine on the full. Roger. Start 3. Start two. Yeah, start one. Didn't know if that was a camera clicking or a seatbelt clicking or <laughs> that was a start valve clicking. Good start. Hand signal to the right side. Dos for Daniel. Spazible. Go ahead and cancel the message while you're doing it. Press on. When you're ready, sir. Out of start. APU. Off. The Salantia is. Off. Off cargo heat. On. Recall. Check. CDUs. Ground equipment. Clear left. Clear on the right. You saw the. You saw him over there, waving. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I see him now. He is. Yeah, he didn't buy a ticket, so he has to stay here. Not waving. He's. That's just all standing. right. He's probably not gonna wave. Okay, <laughs> now he's waving. <laughs> okay. I guess he can't see me. All right, let's go to flaps uh, twenty, please, and control check. You got the flight plan? Three up, two down. Could you write down Bravo Lima in 2157? It, it came through. Oh, we already got yeah. it? Oh, never mind. Okay, you're done with the control checks? Yes, sir. I'm going to do the rudders in. Here we go. All right, I'm going to have to make it a little bit darker. And we're ready for a taxi clearance, please. International Cargo 891, ready for taxi. National Cargo 891, taxi holding point runway 05 via taxi 1. Okay. Holding point 05 via taxi 1, National Cargo 891. 05, there's zero, there's zero 01. Check. Left side's clear. Right is clear. Alright, here we go.
take off, please. Okay, for takeout checklist. Flaps. I got uh, 20 plan, 20 checked. And flight controls. Check. Checked. And take out departure review. Complete. No changes. Let's uh, just verify we're cleared to back taxi. And confirm clear to back taxi for National Cargo 891. National Cargo 891, line up back track runway 05. Okay. Line up back track runway uh, 05, National Cargo 891. Alright, it'll be a right turn to do the hammerhead at the end. And we can go below the line if you want. Okay. Take off for five minutes, guys. It's for departure. Okay. Approaching's clear. Right, it's clear. Okay, I got terrain. I got weather selected. Okay. Cabin is notified. Auto throttles are armed. Weather and terrain. Selected. Selected. Transponder T A R A runway. Okay, there's no markings, but uh, I'm headed 230 now to do a turnaround for a five, so that's verified in my book. <laughs> verified. <laughs> right. Inside and outside take, uh, before takeout <laughs> checklist complete. Well, there is no outside. <laughs> there's nothing to verify outside. Okay, 05, I finally see it here on the paint, so we have confirmation outside. I just heard line up and wait, so. Chicago 891 is fully ready. National Cargo 891, wind 100 degrees, 4 meters per second, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, National Cargo 891. Okay, clear for takeoff, here we go.
Left turn direct does in Clan 5 level 210, North Chicago 891. I can't hear you. You're going to have to talk a little bit louder. I'm in the left turn now, so uh, okay. direct to where? Left turn direct does in. Can you bring that up for me, please? You got the center autopilot command, by the way. Okay. You can Dozen. execute that. That now is available. She's turning the right way. Elnav's engaged. Just hold for just a second for okay. me. As soon as she backs off this bank, we'll do it. Speed intervene for a minute. Flaps 10. Speed intervention is canceled. Flaps 5. National Cargo 8901, continue climb flight level 320. Continue climb flight level 320, Chicago 891. 320. 320. Laps 1. Flaps up. We're good with 270 in Karaganda. <laughs> Take off. Yes, please. Landing gear up and off. Flaps are up. Out to take off. Checklist is complete. I don't know if it's the volume going down on me. If you're starting to mumble, but <laughs> I'll turn no, the volume no, higher. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sounds like your your batteries are starting to fade over there. There's Tim already at full climb. Okay. When you backtracked on the runway, I couldn't believe my eyes that there uh, was suddenly, you know, <laughs> a bit of daylight in front of us. It was so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Even the direction was a perfect fit. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, we aim to please. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, especially when you got the uh, the man's cargo that we're carrying back there to tell us when to do it. It's like, it's good for you. It's good for us. It's so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> super good. W which was your longest flight on a 747? Do you kind of recall something particular? Not, not really. The longest flight I think I've had was uh, a 777, almost, I think, between 16 and a half hours, something about 16 wow. and a half hours. Yeah, it's, it was a long run. Which routing was that? I think that was um, uh, Riyadh to uh, LA. Oh, cool. I think I beat you then. I think I added Abu Dhabi, LA. Um, it was almost 17. Or was it 17 How long was it? I think it was almost 17 or something. So uh -huh. It was a 340-500 so over the pole. I, I know that uh, the CEO of Saudi Airlines is a viewer of our channel, so Captain Ibrahim, I'm sure you were happy <laughs> to hear this <laughs> particular Salam record here. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Yeah, it's actually the long flights on this this airplane are not bad because when you've got a double crew, yeah, you know you're only flying half, and you know we we all work together really well. To, you know, if somebody's really tired, then you know I fly longer, or if they're yeah. tired, you know, or I'm tired, I I take a longer break. So 
We have trips as short as what, maybe 45 minutes? What's to less. Chicago to Rockford? Less? 15, or where the like that? Was it that light, light, yeah. oh, that was that much? Yeah, that was You're going to do a couple of those now. I'll and be doing a couple of those between uh, Doha and Qatar Kuwait. and um, Kuwait. Uh, Doha Kuwait. And Kuwait. Mm. But, but they were probably not ferry flights, but life flights then. Oh, right? no, they're life flights. Life flights. Well, oh. Even the one um, Chicago. Rockford is a Rockford life flight. Rockford was a live flight. No yeah. way. Yeah. Why didn't you just uh, carry it by bike then? <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I'm not real sure what the strategy is. I, you know, I just found out late recently that Rockford uh, has a big uh, shipment oh. uh, plant there. And so Maybe it makes sense to, you know, for them, they can, it's easy for them to take yep. their trucks right into the airport. And Let's get in the mood here. <laughs> <Yeah>. Reset buzzer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and now we're happy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, you, you can already hear it. You know, we're already in the most rested mood you can only imagine. <laughs> you know, pilots don't sleep well at home where they had 12 hours to do so. No, no, no. Five hours, four hours in a flying aircraft, that's what they need, right? Yeah. So <laughs> kind of. So um, <laughs> here we are again. Um, for some unknown reason, we already have uh, beautiful daylight, uh, which is fantastic for great views um, during our landing. And um, thankfully, uh, we have a second crew on this flight as well. And I would um, explicitly like to thank them as well. Although they're not visible in the picture here, they've done a great job and uh, they've done us a huge favor by voluntarily taking over the um, the role of the relief pilots, um, allowing us to do this filming script with um, TJ and Paul doing the takeoffs and landings and being here up front in front of the camera and giving the full relief during cruise. So that's really exceptional. And again, thumbs up, some nice comments, please, to appreciate the efforts of all those people behind the scenes as well. That's super nice. Now, how did you really rest, uh, TJ <laughs> and Paul? How are you? I'm sufficiently rested. <laughs> so <they laughs> so <laughs> sufficiently rested. <laughs> Good. So um, the weather is um, going to be like... Uh, Weather's right here. It looks like it's, uh, it's not bad at all, really. Better oh really? than I thought it was going to be. Although it's Germany. It yeah, it's... Be bad. No, no, it says Cavoke, which means oh. ceiling and visibility unlimited. Really? Nine degrees. I know, better than we anticipated. Nice. Great. <laughs> Just for the film. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cleared it all out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Cleared it all up. No, that's perfect. Well, freight dogs are kind of a subculture of pilots. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be, by def definition, the main differences um, between uh, what we know from passenger passenger uh, scheduled services uh, to I, I already learned one thing I'm not sure if I if I should tell here but usually beautifully dressed up as you're you're all all along the trip this is not <laughs> necessary <laughs> not necessarily a r mm, representative for the freight dog world is well, it this, this is this is staged for you know for a better presentation but yeah we normally get into you know sweatpants and or pajamas and you know, freight dogs don't care. Once the door closes, we just get comfortable. and Which is know. super nice. And, yeah. uh, I mean, important to say that this is not a, you know, airline-specific thing. I think that's really general. Oh, uh, it's, it's true in the cargo world. In yeah. the cargo world. So, yeah. It's we it's don't have passengers that, uh, you know, to worry about. We stagger into the, the, the loo and back here in our pajamas. Nobody cares. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and um, another question, maybe if you have a chance, a uh, second left. Um, occasionally we get comments um, on our cargo uh, films and, and one of the comments is uh, how, how about the food? I mean, how do you survive without a flight attendant on board uh, um, getting you the food? How does this work in your world here? Well, it's, it's, you know, it's like a bachelor pad, you know, it's like uh, the, the kitchens back there help yourself. 
and clean up after yourself, please. <laughs> Push down all the guys understand, but and we ha we do have some you know some female crews, not only pilots but loadmasters, mechanics as well. Um, but everybody just chips in and you know we keep the place clean. And when you're hungry, go find some food, which is super nice. I think yeah. I have to say uh, that's I enjoy that very much actually. <laughs> well, as, as long a days as we spend and, and our. And, and these mechanics and load masters we've got, some of them, they spend days on the airplane at a time. Days. It's amazing. It's, uh, I mean, we had the same, um, as I told you before in the film, for me now, this is the fifth leg of this trip in one piece. So I'm, I'm beyond 48 hours up, up on my legs, apart from short nap here. Um, and the um, mechanic and the load master have done just the same thing on their regular duty time. So, yeah. whoa hats off to and them they'll, and they'll do it for like i said some you know days days at a time it's yeah, it's really amazing and, and i mean they even came in before my first flight they came already in All right. chicago yeah. munich and i think they will continue in munich chicago now as well yes so <laughs> wow <Yeah. laughs> so that's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. quite an example for what you're saying yeah yeah so what else can we have? We have a little bit of time. If you want to, is there anything you want to talk about or? Uh? Absolutely, yes. Um, so uh, maybe just briefly about National Airlines. Um, we're um, National Airlines for me, the main association that I have when I think about that a quite traditional brand, isn't it? Uh, probably the, the, the DC-873 freighters that crossed my mind first, the classic ones which don't exist anymore, sadly. I miss those. Um, so I am connecting it to cargo operations, but um, I think that's not um, the, the, the. I think you the do whole more. Picture. Well, it's actually a, a, a freight forwarding company that so they can they can take a, a shipment of, of, of uh, you know cargo All and right. move it on on their airplanes or on somebody else's airplanes, you know whatever it takes to get the the job done. Okay. Uh, but we do have. We started off with. At least when I came here, we had uh, two 747s, and evidently they've just signed a contract for their sixth. Really? So that's why we need more of you pilots out here as soon as possible. What a chance. What a chance. Really expanded yeah. quite rapidly. On the, on the, we have passengers. We do passengers as well. Uh, military charters, uh, sports teams, uh, you know, large groups of people or large amounts of, of freight uh, we can move either on our own airplanes or on somebody else's so okay you know really it's a good you know good place to start if you want to get some stuff done you come to national cargo and we can't take care of you we'll we'll find somebody that can again so the link down we'll here get it done yeah. and um the other aircraft types operated are uh 757s and and a330s right the airbus 330s yes and 757s are they cargo or no passengers no they're or? passenger passengers well. so the, the cargo side is just the 747s Okay. And then uh, on the, the uh, passenger side, it's a 757 or the Airbus 330s. But I, I frankly didn't know. So it's, it's more of a logistics um, company that has an integrated airline uh, from right. the Is it that a way to describe it? Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. It's, you know, the, the logistics company, the freight forwarder that, that will get your shipment or your people moved. And they have airplanes that do it themselves. Okay. And the, the big advantage of, of uh, National is that there's no, there's no schedules, there's no, you know, if you, you sign a contract to move a certain amount of cargo from this spot to that spot, it's done. We do it at your time, you know, how you want it done. So that's the, it's the flexibility, you know, that, mm -hmm. that's really uh, the big key to National Airlines. Okay. And now, now a really, really nasty question. Mm -hmm. Do you recall the slogan of National? No. <laughs> you know, we were talking about this. We were afraid you might... I might ask it. We, we think it's uh, we deliver the world, yeah. <laughs> boss. I hope that's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I I couldn't remember. I should have. I took two million photos of it during this trip. But can I remember? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hear from the boss if I use somebody else's slogan. But <laughs> I think that's ours. You know, I, c I can <laughs> promise you will you will guaranteed here something positive from your boss because if that wasn't right I will edit it out. <laughs> 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 you see? <laughs> so Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I only have 23 more days to go but I want to finish them here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yay. Okay. And um, but there is no such thing like an like an operational main base. I mean the headquarters is in Orlando, Florida. But um, also maintenance locations-wise, that's like 
in different locations. Well, we we do have you know we have uh, you know maintenance um, you know we do in Orlando as well, but we do maintenance the same way we do our cargo. If if we need an airplane you know worked on some heavy maintenance, we'll go to to, to Taiwan or, or or Hong Kong or wherever we need to go. Mm. Uh, we we had one in a hangar for a while in Han, Germany, outside of Frankfurt. So you know. Whatever it takes to get the job done, I guess is yeah. That, that should be our model. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that could be one for the future as yeah, well. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. But that's really what what sets this company apart from others. You know, uh, is that you know you you come to us, we we get it done. So oh, nice. one way or the other. <laughs> nice, that's good. <laughs> for for how many years have you been uh, flying uh, with National now? I've, I've only been with National for three years. Three years. Okay. Yeah. So the cherry on the pie of your career. Yeah, actually, it's you know, um, it, it's been probably the most exciting flying. Really? Yeah, because because of the diversity of our our destinations, uh, because of our constantly changing schedules and the the flexibility that the, the pilots are required to to live with, uh, yeah. you know, to make sure the customer is taken care of. <laughs> so it it's been. Uh, been probably the most exciting flying I've done in, in, in my 40 years of flying. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Wow. And you're, did I get this right? You're an instructor, an instructor as well. Yes. So you've been involved in, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, in Paul's uh, introduction well, here as well? well actually, Paul and uh, uh, the other captain. Um, okay. Yeah. So what, what's your, I mean, guys, that's another plus, I think, for thinking about joining National if you have people <laughs> like people like TJ uh, <laughs> training keep TJ in, in, uh, in a job yeah that's <laughs> that should be good so what what's um, you're like um, doing the transition from like you're involved in the type rating or in the in, in well line training uh, or how does in, it in the, in the case of uh, Paul and and, uh, and and Kevin they they came from different companies mm -hmm. uh, Paul came from that other brand of airplane then I I'll, I'll get them and and you know uh, take them through you know the ground portion and the simulator and you know teach them this airplane and then i also um you know do the the line training so after they okay. finish all their their initial training and they've been checked out in the simulator then I'll, i'll get them out here on the line and we'll actually do the real live trips and right okay put it all together There must be, uh, I mean, with that expansion that uh, National is going through, <laughs> yeah. then there must be a bit of work for you in yes. terms of training. It's it's kept me very busy. I've I've done in the last few months. I've done my maximum legal uh, allowable flight time, and then well. gone home. And I don't really even need a schedule. You know, they as soon as my my time drops off. They call me out. <laughs> when, I, when I time out, they send me home. <laughs> you know the call is going to come, yeah. And you know <laughs> my, my, you know, wife and daughter have been just wonderful. They've been, they've been flexible as well. Oh yeah, they ha their family has to be flexible as oh, well, yeah. right? Oh yeah, you know they, they're sad to see me go and glad to see me come home. And now, yeah. mama's glad when the paycheck rolls in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do I need to edit that out? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, that's nice. Yeah. No, we've had we've had a good trip with a good crew, and uh, I, we don't need any editing. Well, you know, we <laughs> oh, that's we're, we're good. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's the Not way all I the like trips it. go like that, but <laughs> this one's <laughs> gone well. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. No, I have to say I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed, and I still do this this trip with you guys. It's very very. I mean, generally, also the on the first trip with the other crew, first film that I did, it's, it's kind of a very, very pleasant um, environment. Uh, yeah, nice people. To well, sum we, it you up. know, we have a we have a good group of people, and you know, everybody, uh, you know, is here having a, a wonderful adventure and having fun. Yeah, I can you know? feel that. Yeah. Yeah, and if you don't have fun at your job, I mean, that's a great thing about about this this uh, career too. Is I, you know, I mean, there are times when you know when it's stressful and you work, but It's just been a wonderful experience. You know, I've had I have the greatest time, met, met people from all over the world. Um, you know, I'm actually licensed in six different country, uh, countries. Oh, yeah? As a pilot. Oh, yeah, you know, of course. Just because of all the, the travel. But just meeting the people and working with them uh, from all over the world, it's been a wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. I only have three. So you only have three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've still got years to go, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we wanted, to, you know, we want to thank you as well, Patrick. And this has been a, you know, a, a fun experience for us. Thank you. And we're looking forward to, to you know, seeing all these angles of, because you know, we we live here, 
literally. <laughs> yeah. But for for us, uh, you know, especially for our families and friends to be able to, to see our world you know these different angles with all these you know cameras and it's going to be wonderful so thank you well for, thank for you this. great great pleasure yeah <laughs> for me it's plus just pure fun i have to admit so uh, plus i got a free hat absolutely <laughs> absolutely <laughs> So <laughs> it's all been worth it. <laughs> and yeah. you know what? You know what? Me a free T-shirt also. It's free, free golf shirt. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can do that. Can <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that after five flights you really want that, but <laughs> not not that one. A, a, a new one. A new one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we we well do one of these shirt exchanges, but I don't think either one of us yeah. wants the other yeah. guy's shirt. Let's <laughs> leave it to Saka maybe or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> 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 I get you one, Paul. I just need to. I, in fact, uh, you know, from my production, first production of caps. You got the last <gasps> one now. <gasps> so we're out of stock. So, so I'm going to have him sign it before he leaves. So it's yeah. going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check on eBay later on. It may yeah. come <laughs> available. <laughs> yeah. May maybe uh, $2.10 $2 10 instead of one ninety nine <laughs> production <laughs> cost. Um, <laughs> woo. Okay, Paul. For the brief, we've already gone over the route in the in the box. We've checked the performance. We're going to use uh, flaps 30 auto brakes too. Check. So let's go ahead and do the uh, descent and approach checklist, please. Descent and approach checklist. Recall is checked. Okay. Which you did. All in through GPS. That's what I was talking about. The yeah. GPS. Auto route. brakes two. Landing data. V ref flap 30 minimums. Uh, what are the <laughs> yeah, we're there both going 1649. for 1649. 1649. Altimeter is 1013 preset. Weather and terrain. Selected. I'll stay in weather if you'll do terrain later. That'd be yeah. great. Approach briefing. Complete. complete. Send an approach list complete. Thank you. Arrivals. Uh, good morning on Chicago 891. Heavy with you at a flight level 282 for 11,000. Hello, identified Info Papa, runway 26 right, descent flight level 100. Info Papa, descent flight level 100, uh, 26 right, Nash Chicago 891. There's 100. Check, 100 checks. Yeah, Delta Mike 438 is on the arrival, on the approach. <laughs> All right, if you can find it and set it up, that's it's great. It's here. Otherwise. It's right oh, in front of us. Okay. That's what. Well, let, let us let them use radar vectors, and that's fine. Well, I'll put it so you don't have to see all of this stuff. That's fine. Uh, let's get uh, 40 miles. Yeah, tell them we might need a little delay vector on this. We might one. need a little delay vector for this one for the Chicago 891. Chicago 891, turn right heading 260, descend flight level 70. Okay. Turn right heading 260, descend flight level 70, Chicago 891. 260, down to 70. Ten minutes landing, guys. Ten minutes landing. Chicago eight nine one ten left heading one five zero and uh, back to through the localizer. Roger. Left heading 150, Victor Street, Chicago 891. 150. Noted. Run the 
wing or yeah go ahead let's take it to recycle maybe a minute before I put out the flaps anyway I did, I did. yep good Set 5,000 feet, 1014, at Chicago 891. 5,000, 1014 is preset. 1014 preset. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're not there yet, but yeah. I guess it <laughs> for that big a change, you're right. Chicago 891, turn right, heading 290, and Seattle is from way 26 right. Roger. Right heading 290, Clear Dallas 26 right, National Cargo 891. 290 cleared for the approach. I'll just arm the localizer. That's going to be a weird cut. 290? Yeah, no, this is actually going to work all right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go flaps one, please. Checks. Lopes captured, glide slopes armed. You can cancel that message, thanks. I leave the uh, wings for now. I mean the NSL. For the cell, now. yeah, yeah. That's This is going to be a tight turn back to this is yeah that's what I was saying the turn yeah. is the turn's okay but the tight I'm going to go heading select and rearm in a second there we go Lokes rearmed Check. captured a little easier on the other side you can continue to cancel that whenever no land three comes up just cancel it for me six thousand sending five thousand Lokes captured again approaches armed. Roger, we're established. Alright, we're established on a local now on Lashnikaga 891. Lashnikaga 891, speed is yours. Contact tower 118 at 705. Bye bye. 118705, Lashnikaga 891, what do you say? Tower, good morning. National Cargo 891 Heavy with you on the Alice 26, right? National Cargo 891, hello, wind check 260 degrees, 1 to Roger. You know, Patrick, really beautiful this time of year with these yellow fields. Yeah, obviously. These rape seeds, a bit just beautiful. Glide slopes coming alive. Let's go to flaps five, please. Jinx. That's interesting. The anti ice. Shouldn't affect it like that. <laughs> Go ahead and go gear down, flaps 20, please. It's like the sim. Sorry? It's like the sim. I know. <laughs> it is. So you thought the simulator wasn't working right. It's actually simulating the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> Glide slopes captured. I'm okay. gonna set the missed. Wow, missed approach altitude's already set. How yeah, convenient. Yeah, five thousand. 
Okay, we need transition. Uh, it's so two in a second. National Cargo 891, long roll out to the gate alpha for approved. Then 260 degrees, one three knots from a 26 right, clear to land. 26 right, clear to land, uh, and say the exit again. Now long roll out to the gate, taxiway alpha for approved. Okay, alpha four, Roger National Cargo 891. Long the alpha four, right? Yeah, alpha long to alpha four, so all the way almost to the end. So we take Alpha 4, Whiskey 1, Sierra 6, Sierra, this Sierra 4, Sierra 3. Too much information. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's between you and the ground control. You just tell yeah. me which way to go. <laughs> yeah, he's getting you to the cross to get across. That's oh, what okay. He's carrying all the way to the cross. So as you see, there will be rain. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You know your country very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to flaps 30, please. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Cabin is notified. Speed brakes are arm. Landing gear is down. Flaps are 30. Landing checklist is complete. Very good. And we might as well give the crowd a thrill and I'll hand fly this thing in. It's the autopilot, it's off. Looks like it actually might be wet already. Good. Better chance for a nice landing. <laughs> now we're giving away our trade secrets. <laughs> Take the speed up to 160. Roger. One thousand. Roger. Stable. Roger. Miss approach altitude set. Shit. Let's go to sell any ice off, please. The temperature inversion. Plus hundred. Minimums. Landing. saying which spot further down okay it's the second to last 
So it's this one after Alpha 6, this next one? Alpha 6 and Alpha 4, yeah. This so what, Alpha high 4? Speed, high speed Alpha 4, okay, yeah. Okay, got it. National Cargo 891 on the frequency taxi Alpha 4, November 1. Okay. Alpha 4, November 1, National Cargo 891. Alpha 4, November 1. Take November Bridge, number 1 bridge. Okay, we can go flaps up after landing. So, November 1. Is that bridge going over there? It's going into the ramp. Okay. National Cargo 891, contact Gap 121, decimal 780, good day. 121780, National Cargo 891, good day. Signage is a little weak here. It's so okay. behind the Lufthansa's? Yeah, you're going, this th okay. the other bridge is closed. The other bridge is closed anyway, so okay, you're going straight. You. Right. You're just going straight down. Got it. It's November 1, oh, November Oh, I finally two. see a November 1 yes, sign. Yes, okay, yes. thank God. <laughs> Cargo 8901 continues, Sierra Sierra 4 and Romeo. Stand is 906 Alpha on the Marshall Oval Park. Sierra Sierra 4 and Romeo 906 and looking for the Marshall National Cargo 891. Have you got yours out? I'm going to need some help here. We're going straight ahead, right? Straight ahead. I got when that. You get part. on Sierra, you make a right. Okay. And then when you get to Sierra 4, you make another right. I don't. Yeah, I, I, that's. I don't need the whole sir. thing. I just need <laughs> <laughs> like the first one or two turns. Okay. Over the, after the bridge. Go first straight. Right. Yeah. Straight. After the bridge. First right. Okay. That's what I needed. <laughs> and I see Sierra, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. Don't step on the bridge. I. I promise. <laughs> it's like when my wife gives me directions to somewhere we haven't been. I'm like, I don't want the whole thing. Just the next turn would be fine. <laughs> Yeah, I was giving you the overview. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first right here. Okay. And then you're looking for the next right. Not into the fire station, but <laughs> after. <laughs> see the follow me so I think we've done yeah, it. You're going down that way. And once I can follow somebody I'm in good shape. <laughs> So Patrick, for your viewers, you know, you would think that why isn't he following the yellow line all the time? On an airplane this big, you actually have to do what they call oversteering. Go past the line and then come back to it. So the middle of the airplane stays over the line. All right. Not just the nose wheel, because we're so big. That takes a bit of experience, I guess, to get it that right, no? It does. Just takes a little, you know, getting used to. Thank you. I'm thinking about, you know, people looking at this going, why can't he follow the line? <laughs> <laughs> So 
so when he gets to the top, he's going to jump out and marshal him. So you're on your own. Yeah. And then we're using the alpha, so we'll take that dashed line off to the left, which is yeah. kind of unique as well. <coughs> nice if he'd get out of my way. Once you do a two-knot taxi. <laughs> I got it, buddy. Just get out and start marshalling, will you? <laughs> Clear on the right. Raj. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll wait till she spools up. I'll shut a couple of them down. baby. There we go. Coming back. Checklist when you're ready, sir. Shut down checklist. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Fuel pumps. Off. Nacelle anti-ice. Off. Beacon. Off. Off cargo heat, off transponder, standby, park and brake. Still set, we'll hold it there. Okay. Well, Patrick, we did it. We got you to and from Munich. Thank you so much on behalf of all the viewers, which I can imagine will be quite some. <laughs> well, I hope they enjoyed it as much as we did. It was, <laughs> it was a good experience. We had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. So did I, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, guys, welcome back to Munich. That's the <laughs> conclusion of our film here. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, again, please don't forget for the crew and for us at Airclips, thumbs up, some nice comments. That's what we work from, live from. Thank you. I hope to see some of you out here as pilots soon. We need you. Airclips.com